Sandy Neck staff are battling ticks. Beachgoers can now use credit cards to purchase Sandy Neck merchandise. And we need the new head golf pro at the Hyannis Golf Course. These stories and more on this episode of Barnstable Today. It's Thursday, May 14th, 2015. I'm Sarah Mannell. aggressive tick known as the Lone Star Tick is making a home on Sandy Neck Beach. Beach Park Manager Nina Coleman says experts now consider the tick established on Sandy Neck. The Lone Star has been on Sandy Neck for a number right. of years and is now considered established and the way um, the way they are they call it that is because all the different life stages have been observed on Sandy Neck. So it took a number of years for them to to do that and call it an established population. Hmm. Um, <clears throat> we have found them. They've been on staff before. Um, it's in the dense, shrubby stuff, the stuff that, you know, like the, the pricker, pucker bush, uh, poison okay. ivy yeah. ridden, yeah. dense forest. The that's, places you don't go, that's typically. Where, yeah, that's where they are. Um, so um, user groups such as um, hunters, cranberry pickers, um, you know, some of the researchers, certainly staff, Mm -hmm. Anybody who's getting off trail is the ones that really need to be aware of it. Mm -hmm. um, and so, you know, we're taking a lot of precautions with our staff. I, I would say our staff is probably the, you know, the highest concern. Yeah, yeah. Um, because it's particularly like the turtle monitors all up in that stuff day after day. Mm -hmm. um, it is a very aggressive tick compared to the other ticks um, in, in so much as it moves towards people. So. Um, we, like I said, we have seen it, and then it comes with a new array of diseases. And I think one of the biggest problems with that is that when you have something new, perhaps uh, like a physician wouldn't know to check you for that stuff. Coleman says beachgoers staying on the front beach and hikers that stay on trails should be safe and not be bothered by the ticks, but says they should double check and make sure they don't have ticks when they come in. Staff at Sandy Neck Beach are gearing up for the busy summer season. Beach Park manager Nina Coleman says they have some great new merchandise this summer that they will be selling at the beach. Let's just throw, we, uh, we did a lot of new stuff this Ooh, year. Oh boy, I like that. Yeah, that's a nice color. Um, we're doing a lot of hats. Oh. Listen to her. Where are you? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I tried Same. to do a variety of, of stuff. <laughs> Um, this is actually one of my new favorites. Ooh. Oh, tie dye for seventies. <coughs> wait, wait, I'm not done with the tie dye. Oh, oh, here you go, the little, the little one. See, all the mommies in the no, room. No, <laughs> Grandpa. We, we, <laughs> yeah. oh. Ladies and gentlemen of the viewing audience, as you know, BC. I'm a shill for our stuff, but. You know, this is uh, something that you can buy. Uh, we even accept credit cards now for you folks that um, are short on cash. You can take and utilize your credit card uh, immediately, and the merchandise will be yours. This is everybody's favorite. And the Sandy Neck Gatehouse is now open Sunday through Wednesday from 8 a.m. to 4 p.m., and Thursday, Friday, and Saturday from 8 a.m. to 9 p.m. The Hyannis Golf Course welcomes a new head PGA professional. Jesse Sheckman recently joined the staff. Principal this morning host Sarah Colvin sat down with Sheckman this week. We share that interview with you now. Good morning, everyone. Time for our Barnstable This Morning golf segment. And we are here at the beautiful Hyannis Golf Club with uh, our brand new head golf professional, Jesse Sheckman. Jesse, uh, good morning. Welcome to the program. Good morning. Thank you. Welcome to town. Thank you. So tell us a little bit about your career in golf. Uh, where did it get started? Uh, my career in golf actually started right here um, when I was in high school. I went to Barnstable High School, class of 2000, and I worked here just as an outside services attendant, you could say, um, all through high school. I I ended up going down to Mississippi State um, to, uh, to major in professional golf management. 
and here I am, kind of, I hate to say full circle, it sounds cliche, but it, it's the truth. It is it, the truth, yeah. it is the truth. So yeah. what was it about golf that, that made you decide this is this is the good thing for me to do for my career? Um, frankly, I didn't, uh, didn't really want to sit at a desk in a tie all day. Um, saw my father coming home from work every day like that and said, I don't want to do that, I, I want to be. It's, it, it's great to say, this is my office. Uh, that, that's a really cool thing. Um, that I get to call, you know, 300 beautiful acres my office. Um, so that was really it. The, the main thing I, I was always, uh, I was a decent competitive player. Um, and I, I said, if I can make a career out of this, that would be really special. So Great. I think that's, that's what made me choose it. And so before being here in Barnstable, kind of where, where have you, where has your career taken you before uh, coming full circle, as, as you said? Well, I went, um, when I went down to Mississippi State and as part of their co-op program, I interned at Eastward Ho Country Club okay. for two years. That's in Chatham. Um, and then I ended up as the first assistant at Country Club of Halifax. Um, that was really my first, my first real job out of college. Uh, I was only there for two years, and then I was hired as the head professional at Sandwich Hollows Golf Club, another municipal facility. Um, in Sandwich, I was there for nine years. And until this April, that's what I had done. And, and so I, I do have municipal experience, but it's nice to it's nice to be back in Barnstable now. Absolutely. So now, uh, welcome back again. Thank You're here back in Barnstable. So talk to me a little bit about the role of a head professional. What does the head professional do uh, here at the golf course? In, in the simplest terms, I'm I'm charged with uh, running the day to day operations, making sure everything runs smoothly. Um, small parts of my job include uh, teaching the game a little bit. Although we do have a full time teacher here in Dave Danellen, um, running the, uh, the the golf shop, the merchandise. Um, all that that's entailed, but but really just the day-to-day -day operations, the staffing, the keeping the place running smoothly, and, and making it an enjoyable place to come uh, for our customers and members. Absolutely, golf, of course, such a huge part of, of life for retirees, for residents, for vacationers here on Cape Cod. And I understand that you, uh, in addition to being the head professional here, you are the president of the Cape Cod PGA. Right. So tell right. me a little bit, uh, you know, what what the, what that that means. Well, the the the. There's 28,000 PGA professionals uh, in the country. And the, the, without boring you, the, the PGA of America is broken down into sections, which New England is one of, and then chapters. And there's 190 PGA members in our Cape Cod chapter, which actually goes as north as the Country Club of Halifax and as south as New Bedford and includes the islands. And um, basically, I, I, I'm the president. I sit, I oversee the, the board. Um, it's funny, actually, the, the, my predecessor here, Roman Greer, is on the board as a junior golf chairman. Um, so I've, I've worked with him for, for a while. But that's basically what it is. We, we provide educational opportunities for our, our golf professionals, playing opportunities. Um, it's basically what it is. It's, it's, we are the, the Cape Cod chapter of the PGA of America as a whole. Of the PGA, great. So talk to me a little bit, you know, obviously you're, you're new here, you've only been on the job for a little while, but do you have any, any goals or anything you're particularly looking forward to as the season really gets into full swing? Um, but yeah, my goals would, would be, again, as simply as I could put it, to, to create a little more um, activity here, not just in terms of just strictly number of rounds played, but things going on. More events, whether it be outside corporate leagues, or outings or member activities, little leagues, maybe a Tuesday night league, things like that. Um, just create a little bit more of a buzz. I think activity breeds more activity. Um, so the more I can give people a reason to come here besides just playing around the golf, but getting them to come here for for something bigger than that, for for if that makes sense. Yeah, uh, no, giving them a little exposure. Maybe somebody that right. wouldn't necessarily come to a golf course be like, wow, look around. I know that the first yeah. time I came here, I'm like, I can't believe you know, I've driven by here. So I want to cr times. create some more events, some some more, you know, uh, nine and dine, the, the little things like that. So more than just a casual round of golf, but feel like you're part of an event or a league or a, something like that. Right. Um, so that's really my goal, create more activity. Exactly. Well, we love that. Well, Jesse, I thank you so much as always yeah. for chatting with us, and we look forward to uh, talking with you more as the season goes on. Great. Thank, thank you. Thank you so much. Thank Jesse you. Checkman, of course, the new head golf professional here at Hyannis Golf Course for Barnstable this morning. I'm Sarah Holman. Thanks for joining us today. There are no meetings here tonight at Town Hall, but be sure to tune in to our hour-long news program, Barnstable This Morning, weekdays at 7 a.m. On tomorrow's show, we will chat with shellfish technician Liz Lewis. We'll talk with Director of Leisure Services Patty Machado. Plus, we'll have all the news and information you need. For Barnstable Today, I'm Sarah Mannell.